We want great growth. But we've already established, regardless of the type of growth, what do you have to have? Spirit. Spirit. Won't work. There is no formula in anything you do that will work without spirit. There is no formula. But we want great growth. We want great growth for our children. We want great growth for our spouse. We want great growth for us as a person. We want great growth for us as a husband and or a wife. We want great growth as an assistant coach on the way to being a head coach. We want great growth as a head coach on the way to being an extra special head coach. We all want great growth. If you have some level of competitive spirit, you want great growth. You want great growth. So it's pretty easy. What do we, what do we got to do? We got to be uncomfortable. I said it, it was the cheat code, confrontation of the truth is what? Confrontation is about the truth. Confrontation is about the truth. But what about confrontation? It doesn't have to be negative. No, we love confrontation, not because of our ego. We love confrontation Confrontation is about the truth. And with confrontation, we learn to be comfortable being uncomfortable. Because there's confrontation at all times, but confrontation is all about the red pill. And we're all taking the red pill. The red pill is the truth, nothing more. So in order to have great growth, you have to learn to be comfortable being uncomfortable while not allowing your spirit to be changed. We can never lose sight that the spirit is the only way we can have steady growth or great growth. If you lose your spirit, if you become an addict and you lose your spirit, if you're not feeding yourself the right nutrition, you're going to lose your spirit. You're going to become malnutrition. If you're not constantly aware that you should say no a hundred million times more than you say yes, it protects your spirit. And the only way you can get to 2024 is if you still have your spirit protected. I think I've said it enough. You get the gist of it. But if you're protecting your spirit, everyone within their program, relative to your genetics, relative to your buckets, there has to be confrontation. And it's not a negative. It's a positive. Because the confrontation is about the truth. The truth nothing more and if everything that we're doing within the program is based on the red pill then everybody knows it's the truth when i say we didn't touch the red line didn't touch the line have to start again man start again that's confrontation but it's not a negative confrontation because it's about the truth so just like when we said comfortable we're talking about something completely different when coach said spirit definition to her her spirit may be different than your spirit. It doesn't mean that your life is not more important than her life or vice versa. And I'm not trying to be political and or spiritual. But what I am saying, though, it is it is spiritual related. So whatever your definition of it would be, it is going to have to be internal. It's my why. It's internal. I'm trying to discern. Can I control it? Can I not control it? It is my passion. Yeah, but confrontation is about the truth. And so then. I'm okay being uncomfortable because I'm not really uncomfortable because it's about the truth and I'm protecting my spirit. And then because I'm protecting my spirit, that's how I have great growth. And that's why your habits for you, your staff, your family, your players, that's where the great growth comes from. And that's what you should spend all of your time tinkering on. It's not the play. It's not the play. It's not the zone. It's that. It's that.